Hey everyone, um, this is Ayman and today I wanted to go through one of the trades that I've taken this week. I've taken it 31st of January and it was on CCL. <clears throat> it was a pinpoint play or bottom reversal or a bounce of support, however you want to call it. Um, so, uh, before I go, make sure to submit your email around here. Uh, if you want to receive the weekly simulator practice uh, homework that we are sending uh, every Wednesday and Friday. Uh, I made a small change to the layout, so right now I'll be uh, sending one stock, or twice, two stocks a week, we'd say, uh, with screenshots explaining what, why the data and the 60 were good, and uh, with with the potential setups that you could see intraday, but without mentioning when exactly those setups are happening, so that you can use the market simulator, uh, market replay simulator, or the stock simulator, um, stock trading simulator, and uh, try to identify those setups yourself. Now, CCL, why did I play it on 31st of uh, January? The reason I played this stock is the daily chart and the 60 minute chart. You could see that CCL was in an overall downtrend up until here where it double bottomed and uh, basically from here it was basically a chop right it just was go it was just going sideways but uh, i can draw sort of a range if you see this here that's the high of the range that is the low of the range down there and we're sitting on the upper half of it right uh, remember that ranges they are areas uh, stock could bounce exactly of the previous resistance, which is the best. That's make it easier for us um, to identify the stock, to identify the level, to identify where the stock could bounce from, and know exactly how we want to play it. When they overlap, when they go, for example, here you can see there is a small range between 21.50 and 20, right? You could see that this, um, this around here, uh, these bottoms on these days they are not necessarily bouncing of the previous resistance but still the previous resistance of the range has an impact on them and it's holding above which shows the strength previous resistance acting as support and it could continue going higher so in these days you could play it to the long side based on what you saw around here now based on what i see around here in um if we compare it to these days around here i could tell that we are more bullish right we are dropping inside the range but we get both back up we drop inside but we get both back up maybe we are not closing exactly at the high of the range though we did close actually at the high around here but still we previous resistance kind of has an impact it gets both back up uh the level is also clear 1827 and that's what made me interested in playing it on the day after that not on this day the day after that which was monday 31st uh, of january and i told you it's best when the level is flat because i know exactly the area that i want to play at taking a look at the 60 minute chart you could see that closer to the low we're bouncing right there it is at uh, wait 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 why do we okay yeah that's it cool so you could so see that closer to the lows on the 60 minute chart, we are bouncing off the levels, which makes it really interesting um, for us to play off. Let me find 15, go back to the 60. It feels to me like something is messed up on these charts, or maybe the level is wrong. Okay, the, now the level is good. Uh, it's good, there it is. You could see a double bottom, clear move down, right? Bounce out of here, then a clear move down and a bounce out of here. Anyway, that makes that level at 1830-1828 a level of interest. Now let's go to the smaller time frames and let's play it at 10 times speed. And as we said, it's somewhere around 1830, right? 1830. Now I saw that it was dropping so strong. Uh, like literally straight down because of which I instantly canceled my limit normally I keep my limit at the level with the stop loss seven percent of the ATR below it but since I was not so confident and with the way it was selling off I was a little bit uh, confused and uh, I decided not to keep the limit I decided to have a manual entry on this particular stock you could see on this candle that after it was dropping, it did something different to how to what it was doing on these previous candles. It sold off and it instantly bounced. It got both back up, right? 
uh, which showed me that, okay, that is the level of interest, the 1830. We did break it, but still around this 1830, there is some buying power. And it was pretty much obvious how it got bought back up on this candle. You could um, rewind the replay and take a look or watch it one more time. Uh, that is where I bought it. Uh, the next thing I did is I checked the ATR for CCL because I was enough bullish uh, on it on this particular day. And I told myself that, okay, the ATR on this particular stock is $1, so I could easily hold it all the way to at least uh, 19.30. Of course, I will not be just blindly holding it to 19.30. Maybe just to be safe, I would want to take a partial closer to the pre-market high. Since still on the daily chart, we are in a downtrend, it could reject the pre-market high and continue the downtrend. But if we break the pre-market high, we are more likely to hit the full ATR or more. Now, if you just simply scroll forward to it, you could see that, oh, there we are. We're getting closer to the pre-market high. That is where we can take a partial. Just lock in some profits to be safe and then hold it for longer throughout the day into the full ATR where you could just exit the remaining of the position. So that is it, guys. Um, what is the stop loss? I forgot about uh, to mention that stop loss is really the last level the stock bounced from, which is the low of the week. But since the week was too big, I didn't use it. I used the previous week just to be uh, just to have a better uh, risk to reward. So yeah, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to write them down in the comment section. Have a great day, everyone, and bye bye.